Hi everyone, today I'm going to make that cute little box that we made on our youth stream on Friday night. That's the one we made and this is the one I sneak peeked. All you need is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock or paper. Um, depending on how thick you want your paper depends on how sturdy your little box is. So I'm using cardstock and I'm going to make my short scores which are along my long side. So my shortest scores are going to be at 4.5 and 6.5. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can use a scoreboard or you can use a cutter that allows you to score at certain intervals. However you score. So there's four and a half and six and a half. Okay, and then along your long scores or on your short side, it will be at two and a half and six. This is the Martha Stewart scoreboard, which I love. I can't follow the lines very well, and someone thought of a great idea. My friend Jan, she thought of a great idea to um, color in the lines, a different color each line. So I might have to try that. Okay, here's two and a half. Okay, after you've made your score, you'll just fold across those creases, get them nice and crisp. Once you've done that, you're going to take, this is, the, this is somewhat tricky, but if you watch you can get it. We're going to take one of the corners right here, this little corner where these come together, and we're going to line it up with the other crease right there, just like that. So just taking that little crease and lining it up with the crease right below it. And then we're going to score that as well get a nice sharp edge right there. Okay, so we're going to do that to all four sides. So we're going to take this little short one and we're going to put it over here on top of here. Okay, and then score it. Or, sorry, yeah, score it. Fold it, crease it. <laughs> um, I feel like we should have a cheer, a scoring cheer. <laughs> That'd be silly. If someone writes a cheer, let me know. Um, our very own scoring cheer. Okay. And one more. Okay. Now I kind of fold them in and out just a little bit so that they're a little bit more workable. Easier to fold in to create our little box because that's it. That's all we're going to do really for the folding and the cutting, in which there was no cutting, which makes this box nice and easy for um, kids. So, yeah, so we're just going to take our little box and we're just going to fold the insides pieces in like this, okay? Just like that. Now, you could tape it. What we're going to do is we're just going to use a little adhesive so it stays together a little bit. You could use score tape or something like that if you wanted. Um, or you could just not use any adhesive. It's not necessary. So now you're just going to do that to the other side as well. So that that corner is folded in. This one doesn't seem to be wanting to fold. There we go. And that corner is folded in. Okay? And there's our little box. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use some more adhesive on this other side. Okay. And then while I decorate it, I'm just going to use a binder clip to keep it shut. And then we'll go ahead and decorate it quick. And then I will tie it with a bow. But I think I'm going to use a point. Um, someone on the Ustream said that you should use a crocodile, so that's what I'm going to do today. So, now that that's done, I'm just going to take a piece of... I don't want to smash it. I'm just going to take a little piece of contrasting paper, and this is Graphic 45. And I think it's from the Steampunk line. And we're going to go ahead and put that on the front. 
I might have to move my binder clip now. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and I took a paper doily that you can get in the um, cake section at Michael's. They're super cheap there. And I just glimmer misted it up. And then I stamped it with a Uga from one of the new Pink by Design stamp sets. This is actually one of the very popular sets going right now. So this set, and we're going to use the car from that set as well. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on this little doily. Have to be a little careful because it's super thin. And the glimmer mist dried really fast, so that was good. Put it on here. And then we need our little truck. And I'm going to pop out the truck. So... He's going to be too big for the um, bag, but he's going to so overlap a little bit. He'll look cute. There we go. And now he just needs some ribbon at the top. So I'm going to take my crop, crop a dial. I'm going to punch a hole, a couple holes. In I'm not being too particular. Okay, so there's my two little holes, and then I'm going to go ahead and lace some ribbon through there and tie it up. And it makes a cute little favor bag or gift bag for someone, so let's lace it up. You can also adhere the tops together somehow with um, a little score tape or anything. I just don't like it when people have to rip into the um, boxes that I made that I work so hard on putting their candy in or whatever I'm giving them. Gift card would fit in here nicely, too. And... This is crinkle ribbon, which is now um, over the Pink Guy Design Store. I love the crinkle ribbon. And I actually don't make that. Um, Mariah from Tattered Time makes it all hand dyed. She does a fabulous job. Okay, so there we go. It's through, and I'm just going to tie it quick. There we go. That's it. There's our little box. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.